today in our trailer, we're going to take a look at the Dutton Lanson Boat Trailer Deluxe Roller Bunks, part number DL21741. In our five foot section, part number DL21740 for our four foot bunk. Now here we are with our boat trailer in the water and we've got the standard boards. Now to launch our boat, especially when you're doing it by yourself, can be difficult because you got to push the boat off. I'm in the water and it's not very easy. But with our rollers installed, the bolt simply slides off. You almost don't even need to push it in. Also, just as easy as we launch our boat into the water, it's that easy to load the boat back onto the trailer. Now here's what the complete install is going to look like with our roller bunks in place on our trailer. Now, this will come with two sets of five foot rollers for a total of 12 sets of rollers. Dutton Lanson also makes a four foot set of bunk rollers. The four foot long ones are one foot shorter than the five footers here, and they have one less set of the bunk rollers. Now let's go ahead and show you how to install it. To begin our install, we're gonna remove the old or manufacturer's boards and brackets. Since we're removing the bunk boards and brackets, we're just gonna take the U-bolts off the frame. Quick tech tip, before you remove your boards, Take a tape measure and get the height of your board. That way, when you install your new brackets and rollers, you can set it back to the same height. Now, once we have the boards loose, we'll go ahead and just take them off the trailer and set them aside as they will not be reinstalled. Now, for our new rollers, we're gonna install a new bracket. This is the Dutton Lanson Universal Mounting Bracket, part number DL21742. To secure it to the trailer, we're just gonna reuse the old manufacturer's U-bolt. Now once I have it set in place, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down. Note for additional security, we could add a second set of U-bolts here on the other side. Now here at the center support, we're gonna have two five-foot rollers coming together. We'll need two brackets, both getting attached at the same spot. To do that, We'll bring in a U-bolt from each side. This will secure our brackets. Now I've got my first one in place. The back side here of the center support. We'll get our second U-bolt and support bracket. Now once all our hardware is in place, We'll make sure she's in position and then tighten down the U-bolts. Keep in mind when tightening down your U-bolts, make sure you tighten them down evenly. Now once we have the center support done, We'll go ahead and install our last bracket here at the very end and repeat the same process we did for the very first bracket. Now with all our brackets secured, we'll go ahead and put our bunk rollers in place. Starting here at the rear set of bunk rollers, we'll set it onto the brackets first. Not supplied with the install kit, you'll need to add a bolt or bolt and washer for this application that'll go down through your bunk roller, then through the bracket. Underneath, I'm gonna add a flat washer and nut. It's recommended to use nylon lock nuts. This will help prevent the hardware from loosening. Let's go ahead and install it finger tight this time. All right, now we got our front attachment point in place. We'll go ahead and do the same process here for the rear attachment point. Next, we're gonna install our front bunk and rollers. It'll sit here on our 
forward and second bracket, but because of how close we are oriented to the rear bunk, we're gonna remove the rear set of rollers and we'll need to drill out our attachment point so that we can secure it to the bracket. Let's start with removing the rollers. Using a couple three quarter inch sockets, we can simply just go ahead and remove the bolt that holds the rollers in place. I'm just gonna slide the rollers back onto my bolt. Thread that nut back on. That'll hold them together while I set them aside. Now we'll go ahead and put our front bunk in place. Set in position on the bracket and mark the hole. Now we'll take our bunk back off. We turn it over and drill out the hole. Now to drill out the hole, I'm gonna use a small pilot bit and then open it up to my final size using the step bit process. We're now ready to go ahead and put the bunk back in place, drop in our hardware, and secure it. Now with all our hardware in place, we'll go ahead and tighten down all our fasteners. All right, now with one side done, we'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the other side. And there you have it for the review and install of the Dutton Lanson Boat Trailer Deluxe Roller Bunk, part number DL21741.